it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So today's tip is about a question we get very frequently and the question is can ICU, a hospital ICU to treat my loved one? So again this is a very frequent question we get and where does it come from? Well it comes from hospitals and intensive care units often trying to prematurely withdraw treatment and often against family consent or uh, often by trying to position it or frame it in its quote unquote in the best interest of a patient to let them die. Um, you know I have my own thoughts on it I don't think that it's in the best interest of someone to die unless they really want that and most families say well my loved one wants everything to be done and there's often even an advanced care plan conversations have taken place between family members and their loved ones that you know if they ever end up in ICU that you know they want everything to be done life is sacred as far as I'm concerned and I can concur with families in intensive care there and we you know we advise them what to do we understand intensive care inside out we know about patients and families rights we know about policies and procedures especially around end of life policies and procedures in intensive care and you know on the odd occasion if um, you know if a hospital really wants to push for an illegal uh, withdrawal of treatment you know it can go to court and we've certainly participated in court cases as witnesses so for example what we do is we review medical records and we extract um, clinical evidence from the medical records to see whether there's medical negligence or whether and there are potentially other treatment options. So yes, you can sue a hospital to treat your loved one if they are denying life-saving treatment. That's the short answer. And we have numerous case studies on our website to verify that. So that is my quick tip for today. Now, if you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website, or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. Um, there you have access to me and my team uh, answering questions, everything intensive care related 24 hours a day via email or in the membership area. If you need a medical record review uh, while your loved one is in ICU, we can do that in real time or we can also review medical records after ICU, you know, especially if you have questions after ICU as well, but the best way to review medical records is in real time and you know you have the right to access medical records in US, Canada, UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand so it's a right not a privilege and you should contact us if you have difficulties accessing medical records. Um, so that's my quick tip for today. Now subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care. Um, share the video with your friends and families, click the like button, click the notification bell and um, comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.